Well, it's that time of year again. Time of year for the best of 2022 wildlife video clip. This is a collection of some of the highlights. There's so many to choose from. So stick around. Well, welcome, friends. Welcome to the foothills of the Smokies. As another chapter, well, the final chapter of 2022 of As the Bridge Turns. But first, before we get into all the little precious animals, I was going to show you the seasons here on this old ridge. Over the years, the color changes, the changing of the seasons on the ridge and at the pond. Now, I've took a lot of, lot of camera pictures and clips of all these animals over the years, over this year, and I'm going to share them with you, but there's so many to choose from, so many to choose from. But where'd this old year go to? It just seems like the older you get, the faster they move on. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this little old clip. So this little old clip... It won't be a short one, so be kind of long, all the different little animals, from the coons, the deers, the squirrels, bobcats, all the little animals, the best highlights of each one. So I want you to just relax, pull up a chair, take your time, and let's enjoy nature and see what's happened in this 2022 year, ups and the downs. So I hope you enjoy Let's get started. First up is the birds. Now I'm going to do all these little animal clips in alphabetical order. So birds is the first on the agenda. Now I filmed this little wood, wood duck on the pond early last spring when the water was way up. But it didn't last long. It started drying up. Now here I filmed a strange bird, thought it was a grouse, but it's not. Sneaking around here. All sorts of pretty little birds around this pond in the spring. Precious cardinal. Here's another one digging around the pond. Late winter, early spring. Little female cardinal in the woods. And there's a little songbird of the woods, a little thrush, the most beautiful bird. And I filmed all kinds of woodpeckers over the year, of all kinds. I just picked out a few. Little wren, beautiful sounding bird. And here's a northern flicker woodpecker with a downy on the other tree. Woodpecker. Better picture of it. Filmed all kinds of birds. There's a better picture of the thrush. All in these woods. And beautiful little birds. There's an old thrasher. You see how he got his name. And I don't know what this bird is. It's like a parakeet or something to me. I don't know what kind of bird it is. Maybe y'all know. Now, yep, here's an old hawk. You can't see it, but he's got a squirrel down. These hawks are hard on these squirrels. Well, there you go. The bobcat. These are elusive creatures. You're lucky to see one at all. Most people never see them. But I film them from time to time. My surprise? Coming and going. I'll film them a week or two, and then I won't see them for a month. And here's a really good picture, rare treat. 
One stepped right in front of the camera, stopped and watched. And there's a full grown one right there. They are lucid. There's a mommy and her baby. Rare treat right there. And sometimes they're curious, just like the coons. They'll come up and what is that? Check that camera out. And there's one at the pond. You could tell by the white on the back of its ears. That's a dead giveaway. And they come and go on top of these ridges. Even during the day, but you mostly see them at night in these cameras. But I have got some good pictures. There's a nice one during the day moving around. There's one squirrel hunting up on the ridge. Doing some serious hunting. And they always sneaking around watching. But they are during the day too. Hard to film. These are elusive. They are a rare treat to see. And at the pond, they seemed to move right in for a few weeks and then moved on. When it was a mud hole, more than it was a pond. Sneaking around hunting. Now here's one with a squirrel in his mouth. He got him a squirrel. And they like to play too. What's it? Just up on that old tree. And I filmed some mommy with her baby here again, out in that mud hole. He didn't like that mud too much, shaking that feet. <laughs> but they're always hunting. Beautiful creatures. They like it at night, especially. Still curious on these cameras, ain't they? And down below the motel, oh yeah, you can bet they're checking that out. Right in front of the motel. But they mostly stay to their self hunting. Well, there you go. You see them? No, you don't. They're rare. Well, that's the bobcat. The coyote, the most menacing animal in the woods. They're the hardest on these little animals and the fawns and the grown deer too. They'll chase them and they roam around all the time looking for anything vulnerable. They don't cull nothing when it comes to eating. And they will run into these cameras from time to time till they figure out where they are and what they are. So it keeps me busy moving them from time to time. But they still run into them accidentally. And once they figure out what they are, they don't like them. And you catch some crazy pictures too every once in a while. Tough like this. But they're always on the move. Trying to catch a little animal that's vulnerable. Now here, here's a picture of one with a leg missing. Front, right leg, gone. Here's another one. This is the rear left leg. Don't know if they've been in a fight or what. And they like to run in packs, too. And mostly at night. But I do film them at day. Here at the pond, they're running in a pack. A young one and an older one. Trying to catch them whatever they can catch. Here's a younger one. Chasing him some frogs.
They out on these ridges, day or night. Always out around these. I'm on the move. So that's the best of the coyotes, 2022. The deer, preferably the white-tailed deer here in these Tennessee ridges. And they're all over the place. Beautiful animal. You just liable in at certain times of the year in the fall to see these bucks anywhere. And the does too. Always around, moving around these ridges. And these old big bucks, you could see some big ones in the daytime. Catch some on the camera. And here's one. Chasing a doe. Well, not chasing, just following her around, waiting on the doe. She's nervous. She's watching him. But he's watching her, just always behind her. That's just funny how nature is, ain't it? And they'll follow him around. Just waiting for that time. There ain't no hurry. And these little old does and the yearlings, they get tired of all this hustle and bustle, so they just lay down. Wishing that spring was here. Beautiful animals. And these old bucks, you catch them time to time on these cameras, they come up close like all the other animals, checking them out, curious. Walk right up on them. But these old big bucks, they don't get big being done. Some big old bucks move through here when it's that time of year. Normally you don't see them. Old big ones like this, sneaking through the edge of the camera. That's a big one. Even during the day. Watching for these dogs. And they spook real easy. They can get gone real quick. Watch this. Gone. But it's that time of year in the spring. Usually around Memorial Day here, 1st of June. The little fawns are out. Mommy's getting them up, teaching them how to survive. But a lot of them don't make it. These coyotes are hard on them. Beautiful little animals exploring their new world. Now here's Mommy with the triplets. First time in years I've seen any triplets. There they are down in the in the field. Curious. Exploring the new world. There they are at night. Beautiful little three triplets. And the old coming down look there, a whole herd of them coming down that ridge. I counted seven. Just keep coming down that little gap in that rock. Little fawns is brave, ain't they? Some of them got singles, but one of them had a triple. And it's comical. The little does or the little little fawns meet these bigger deer. Scares them to death. Now there's mommy with her triplets out browsing around one morning. But time went on, the triplets turned into twins. The coyotes was taking their toll on them. And as time went on, there was only one left of the triplets, unfortunately. 
but it growed up. And these old bucks, they, you catch them in these cameras every once in a while. But they, after that time's over with the does, they head back in dark, back in these dark ridges. Stay hidden. But for the time being, you see them a little bit, but they're so skittish. Beautiful young buck. Now these deer here, they hold their antlers here to about the first couple of weeks of April, and then they're gone. That's just the way it is here. They turn snow white, and they'll just fall off. Well, there's the, the white-tailed deer. Well, here's the feral cats. Now they're not part of the, the normal wildlife, but viewers seem to love them. They just moved in these old ridges, and they seem to be on the cameras. Here's old socks moving around. Different little old cats. Some lice, some don't. Here's one I haven't seen in a few months. Disappeared. Moved in here. And here's old socks again. Moving around on the ridges. They come right up to the camera. Just old wild cats that somebody set out, didn't want no more. Now here's one. This is the get cat I call. Filmed this at the pond back in the wintertime. Don't it say get on the side of it? And he hung around the pond, sometimes on the ridge, but he didn't last very long. Didn't last long at all. Not seen him since winter. Here he is again. Just old cats that went wild that didn't make it. Now here's the star. Old Yowler. He's hung in there longer than any of them. He's been on this ridge about a year now. And he's a real skillful hunter. I've caught pictures of him watching. He takes pride in hunting. Hunting these little ground squirrels and squirrels, whatever he can catch. But he's been hanging in there awful well comical to watch him, but he's still a house cat, just playing and chasing a leaf, having a good time, but unfortunately, old Yeller has lost an eye, something probably scratched his eye out, something he's been trying to get, you could see it good right here, old Yeller, but he's hung in there longer than any of them, so, there's the feral cats. Hope old Yeller hangs in there even longer. Next up, the fox. Beautiful little animals. They're always scurrying around in this old ridge. They're real elusive though. But they're so cute to watch. Unless you got a bunch of chickens around. They always move around, trying to find them some dinner like the rest of these little animals. And they come and go across this ridge and these trails all night long. Do you liable to see them anywhere? And they're curious too. You could tell it's a red fox, got that black tip on their tail. A little mate couple in here. They come in midsummer, sneaking around. Always on the move, too. And they fool around the rock motel. They're wondering what's in under there. They smell it. But they don't want what's under there. So they just move on. Now here's one during the day on the ridge. 
moving through. And here's one with something sticking out of its side. Don't know what that is right there. I'll make a better picture right here. Looks like a stick or something sticking out of the side of it. But it don't seem to be affecting it. It moseys on about its business. I don't know what that is. That's a strange picture. And they were fooling around the pond too, in pairs. They're always on the move. Well, that's the fox. The elusive fox. Now, here's the old groundhog. Some people call them woodchuck, some call them whistle pig, but here in the south where I'm at, we always call them old groundhog. And they're always running around these woods, especially in these fields. They love to eat the grass and the weed. But all these animals, these predators like to get these groundhogs too, so they have to be careful. But this one here, he likes to rock motel. This is his home. And all these other animals moved in on him. But he's hibernating right now. So he's got a real hard life there, ain't he? My kind of life right there. Relax and take it easy on a hot summer day. The old groundhog. Well, that's the groundhog at the Rock Motel. Well, here's the possum. These animals always scurrying around. We call them possum, not old possum here in the south. And these little things, they're so ugly that they're beautiful. So cute. And these are little young ones here during the day. You mostly see them at night. But they do come out during the day. These are just babies. And they live under the rock motel. There's one of the parents looking out. Wondering what's that light. And they come and go. Bunch of animals live under this rock. And they scurry around all night in these ridges, too. They like to eat insects, whatever they can get a hold of. Scraps, they don't matter to them. And they just strut on through. They don't care what's going on. They got busy. They travel a lot. Now, here's a rare treat. Not many people know this. They gather leaves up for their den. Watch it. Pull them right up under their self, curl them around their tail, and take them to their den. Not many people knows that. And here's the bait and pair, I'd say, at the Rock Motel. Old wet possum. He's probably looking for some wet pavement. <laughs> Seem like you see them on a the wet road more than anything. Now here's a really rare sight I've been trying to catch. A mommy carrying a whole bunch of babies on her back. That's a rare one. Well, that's it for the possums. Here's the owls. Now these owls are elusive. You hear them, but you don't see them very often. But I know in the summertime, they come down in these cedars the edge of these fields, and they love to eat these insects, especially these katydids. So when you hear the katydids, they're down here looking for them, and they feed on them. That's how I can catch pictures of them right here. They love to chase these big insects. It's a treat for them. The whole family's down here. All night long. And they're silent, silent predator, I'm telling you. But when the katydids start dying out, the owls go back to the big hardwoods. 
and they still check these fields, but you can't hardly see them. So there's a big old hoot owl, the great horned owl. Beautiful sounding bird at night time. Now here's a little screech owl. These are rare to film too. Little old bitty owls compared to the big old horned owls. But they're beautiful little owls. Look at them. They don't stand eight or ten inches tall at the most. Beautiful little thing. And I managed to catch a few pictures. Here's one at the Rock Motel. And another one. Rare little birds to catch these little screech owls. But you hear them. Well, that's it for the owl. The old rabbit. This is one animal that is the most hunted animal in nature, seems like, by all the predators. And they live hard. But there's plenty of them. Film them all the time. Don't matter in your yard or in your woods or on the road, in the fields. These little rabbits are everywhere. And they are heavily hunted. Now here's a little rabbit running right by a deer. Don't seem to mind each other. They know which one's going to bother which. But these little rabbits, they have to keep a keen eye out. They're not completely done. They know. They watch. They watch it for stuff like this. There goes a coyote. I slowed this down so you could see this. Now watch this. There's a rabbit. There's a coyote right on him. So that's all I filmed of it. Well, I know they live hard. But they survive. So they have a hard time. Well, that's the rabbit. The raccoon. The most curious, mischievous little animal in the world. They are so smart. And they're so curious. Here, he's got an acorn in his mouth. They like these acorns, too. You don't see them much during the day, but they are out during the day, especially in the early spring, early summer, out foraging around. Always into something. Here's the family coming off the ridge at dark, out of the den trees. And of course, here's their favorite. They've got to check these cameras out. Say hello. What's going on? They can't pass them by. Every camera they come to, they've got to check it out. But they've checked them out so many times, they know what they are. But they can't help themselves. That's just their curiosity. But they love the pond, their favorite place in the world. This is where they feed all the time. Insects, grub, worms, and they share it with the other animals too. Always. And they love to forage here. Frogs, grubs, worms, it don't matter. This is their favorite dinner hole. And here they even go swimming. Don't matter what time of year it is, if there's water, that looks kind of cold there, don't it, buddy? And yep, they got a show out. Look here. Did that, did you like that? I can do it again. They always got a show out. And they can't pass these cameras by. What in, I'm, I'm here. No matter what camera's around. They've got to check them out. The whole family's there. Having a good time. 
and they get a little rowdy every once in a while. And sometimes they get a little bit too rowdy, and they get mad. One got something that the other one wants. That's just the way it is. But they make up. They always friends. Even scratch each other's back. They always got something going on. And they out there in the day at this pond, like I said, it's not not very often, but you do film them in the pond during the day, especially in the spring. And they do the same thing during the day like they do at night. Got to check these cameras out. Always moving around. What's next? What's out there? Looking for them frogs. So that's the coon, the most mischievous, curious, and smartest animal in the woods. I love to watch them. Next up, the skunk. Now they come and go. You'll see a lot of them. I'll film a lot of them a little bit of time, and then other times I don't. But they don't come out during the day very often. But here is one during the day. That's old Flash. Mostly they're at night. There's old lightning. I kind of give them nicknames by their markings on them. I can't do that to the coons because they all look the same. And they all live under this rock too with the possum and the groundhog. And here's an old favorite we haven't seen in a few months, Snowball. I believe he's a spotted skunk, a rarity. Here he is again at the motel. Haven't seen him in a few months, though. I hope he's still around. And here is Wishbone. See him around a lot lately. And there's Flash. They all got different markings. The old lightning here, he chased an old deer off. He wasn't going to have that. Get up through there. This is my place. And there's old lightning again, forging around. You liable to see them anywhere. But these animals don't fool with them. I'll tell you that. Well, there you go. Hope old Snowball's doing good. So that's the skunk. Well, it's time for the most relaxing to watch little animal. It's just so comforting to watch them. And they're acrobats, natural born acrobats. Running up and down these trees, cross the top of these trees, they can do it. And I love to watch them. They'll forge all day. Curious little animals too. And they're smart. They'll figure out how to get to that nut. If they're wanting it, they'll figure out how to get to it. They can sure haul these nuts away, too. And they can put them away. Busy time of year when them nuts come in in late August. Hickory nuts, acorns, walnuts. Busy time of year for them. If they're not eating them, they're hiding them, burying them, storing them. Wouldn't you like to have one of these sitting on your coffee table on Christmas time, a nutcracker? He'd go through the walnut, wouldn't he? He can go through. They so comical to watch. So relaxing. Here's one carrying his young to another location. I'll slow it down here. Let's re be relocating the young. Look there. That's a rare catcher right there. But there's other squirrels here too. Little ground squirrels. 
their busies can be too hauling these nuts around. And the flying squirrels, of course they only come out at night, and they're quick as lightning, I'm telling you. Beautiful little animals too. They are quick as lightning. But they can fly. They in these woods all at night too. They get in these acorns too. Well, back to the squirrels. It's their time of year, and they love it. So relaxing to watch them. They just they tickle me just to watch them. They're so precious. Well, that's the squirrels, so I hope you enjoyed that one. I love to watch them. Now here's the turkey. These woods and these ridges are full of turkey. I know growing up I never did see them, but they're everywhere now. Roosting up on these big trees and these ridges, coming down about daylight, start pecking around. Just like a bunch of big chickens scratching around all day for grub and worms and insects, roots. They're beautiful birds though. And some of them are very big too. I've seen flocks on this ridge as much as 40 or 50 of them. But most of the time they're in little old groups of a dozen. But they love the pond. Got some good close-ups this year of them. This is some of the best pictures. They don't mind this camera either. There's just so many pictures to choose from. So many. And they love the pond. It's their favorite little water hole too. Picking around for insects. So there's the turkey. Well, one more thing I'd like to note is the strange things caught on camera this year. I've caught a few over the years, but here's what I've got that's kind of strange this year on the camera. Now, this old pond, it's a beautiful place, and it's a virtual jungle in the summer. But I did catch something weird here. Back in May, one night, I caught an orb here. Or... A flashlight. Can't really determine, but it don't act like a flashlight. Ain't that weird? This is what it is. It's slowed down a little bit. Like an orb. Well, I filmed another one. Here's a coyote going in under here. Act like it's right behind them weeds, you don't. It? That's weird. And here's another strange and rare thing. I thought this was a snake coming out of the pond back in the late winter. But it looks like a salamander when you look at it. And I looked this up. This is a Tennessee cave salamander. They're real rare, endangered species out of this old pond. And another thing, yeah, we're here next to the Smokies, not a few miles from the Smokies Mountains. And there are a few bears come through here, but this year I didn't film none. This is last year's bear I took some pictures of. One just didn't come through this year. And I did film something another strange. Filmed to look a trespasser, poacher. The old farmer here that gives me permission on these ridges said he'd been having trouble. Well, I called him on the camera. And the law took care of that problem. But anyway, We'll say goodbye to 2022. Hope you enjoyed these little wildlife clips. We'll continue doing them as long as I'm able to get up there and get them. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the best wildlife clips of 2022. So, take care, God bless, and I'll see you next year.